So before the good dinosaur started, there was a short called Sanjay Super Team, which is actually based on a true story, a mostly true story, is that this Indian boy is trying to understand Hindu with his father, but he would much rather be with his superheroes than to study Hindu. And I gotta say, I was really blown away by this short film. This is honestly one of the best short films I've ever seen. The animation is some of the most stunning animation I've ever seen to an animated short film. It is glorious to just look at. It was a very beautiful story between the father trying to get his son to study Hindu and understand all of the spiritual meanings behind it. It is beautifully told. It is so well written. And I think that was nice of Pixar to actually do an animated short film that's based on a true story. You know, they've done some things and changed it around a bit as they stated, but they really made it so breathtaking to look at. So honestly, I loved the short Sanjay's Super Team and I'm going to give this breathtaking short film an A+. So now that I have given you my thoughts on the short, let's go ahead and review The Good Dinosaur. You guys want to hear my roar? <clears throat> Everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review The Good Dinosaur. And it does have the voice talents of Jeffrey Wright, Francis McDormand, Raymond Ochoa, Steve Zahn, Anna Paquin, and Sam Elliott. It is from first time writer and director Peter Sohn, and The Good Dinosaur is about this dinosaur named Arlo who gets stranded somewhere. He's split apart from his family. He's trying to find his way home. While he's trying to find his way home, he makes a friend with this cave boy named Spot. And on this journey together, Arlo and Spot form a beautiful bond along this beautiful adventure. So honestly, when I went into The Good Dinosaur, I was pumped out of my mind. This was by far one of my most anticipated movies for 2015. And you know what? I thought The Good Dinosaur was great. I adored watching The Good Dinosaur, honestly, guys. This movie was just so beautiful in its animation. It is just so glorious with its detail. When you look at the background animation, my goodness, does it look so real. When you look at the trees, they look like real actual trees and it blows my mind to just see it blend with the 3D animation world. And personally, I know this movie is getting criticism for having cartoony character designs. Personally, I don't think the characters are cartoony. I think they look great. And I think the character designs actually fit perfectly for the breathtaking background for the 3D animation. Hands down, not only one of the most breathtaking animation from Pixar, but just some of the most breathtaking animation in an animated movie in general. One of the things I loved about The Good Dinosaur is by far the friendship between Arlo and Spot. They weren't getting along from the start, mainly when it comes to Arlo. He didn't really like Spot from the start, but as the movie is progressing, the two of them are starting to understand each other more. And even though Spot doesn't talk, he just makes sounds like, huh? Huh? But... You know, Arlo sees where Spot's coming from, and Spot sees where Arlo is coming from, and then the two of them just form this really wonderful connection that I thought really makes the storyline just so damn memorable. Really, when you do think about it, the movie does have elements of The Land Before Time, and it does have elements of Ice Age, but the movie takes those elements and makes it into its own beautiful story. I thought Pixar did an excellent job of 
executing and capturing this very nice friendship story that it was trying to tell. Peter Son, I thought for a first time writer and director, beautifully wrote this movie. He had a lot of passion for it and you can clearly see it in The Good Dinosaur as well as doing a breathtaking job directing the movie. It's a personal story on overcoming your fears because let's face it there has been those fears in our lives that we have a hard time overcoming but we know eventually we have to get past those fears we may be afraid of them but we have to learn to get through with them and how the movie explored that i thought was really excellent and i think it's a great message that the kids can honestly learn from the good dinosaur voice talents from everyone were amazing honestly jeffrey wright voices arlo's father and i thought he was absolutely the perfect casting for the character i really liked how the good dinosaur handled arlo's father i thought he was a very interesting character in general and he was actually quite important to the whole personal story of conquering your fear of course without getting to any spoilers he was actually quite important to the story you have other voice talents like you have steve zan here you have sam elliott voicing the t-rex which when you think about it that's absolutely awesome right there. The T-Rex characters, speaking of them, I thought they were all very enjoyable characters. They gave me a big smile on my face. Granted, their screen time isn't too big, but when they are there, I just had a big old smile on my face. This one scene with this dinosaur, he's the one that was asking Arlo about Spawn, if he could take him and all of that was actually one of the scenes that really cracked me up. And I did think there was some really good humor in The Good Dinosaur. I actually laughed more here than I did with Inside Out. And it's still kind of the same thing with The Good Dinosaur. There's not really a whole lot of humor here. But when the humor is here though, I thought it was handled very well and I found myself laughing at least a good amount. The film definitely has heartwarming moments, especially when it comes to two specific scenes. One scene deals with Arlo and Spot explaining to each other their own backstories just from drawing in the sand in which I found that scene to be absolutely beautiful and touching. And there's another scene which is towards the end of the movie but I'm not going to say what it is. All I'm going to say is that I almost wanted to cry because it was such a powerful scene and what made it more powerful these two scenes I actually mentioned is that they were silent. I was actually also surprised on how intense the film did get. Like, yeah, it's still aimed for the whole family, for adults and kids in my opinion, but there were moments that I was actually surprised at how intense the film got. Like, first of all, Arlo, he falls down a lot, and there's actually scenes where you see him all bruised up, all badly, and when he tries to walk, and then you hear the sound effects, and you're like, oh! Oh goodness, Pixar! Pixar! Oh! Oh! I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of hard to watch and I'm surprised that Pixar actually kind of did that for an animated film. And you actually see animals eating other animals and they don't even cut away. You actually see an animal eating another animal in which I was like, wow. The score is so magnificent. I thought it blended well with the tone and the overall environment of The Good Dinosaur. It just flowed so smoothly and it was a different score than what we're used to hearing in other Pixar films. And personally, I did feel like all of the characters, whether they had large roles or small roles, they were all very interesting characters. They were all very well written and they each had their own blend of personalities. And that's something I always appreciate about Pixar is the amount of personalities they always bring to their characters. Now the only flaws I do personally have with The Good Dinosaur is that there were a few times where the tone did shift just a few times in my opinion. Like the movie would go from being serious to all of a sudden trying to be all comedic and I thought it was just a little bit weird how it would shift from that just a few times. I also felt like the movie did shoehorn these villains that 
only show up for a couple of moments and they did feel pointless. I didn't see the point of the good dinosaur really having these villains because when the movie didn't have them, it was actually really good without having them. And when you think about it, nature was the real antagonist for the good dinosaur because of the challenges that Arlo and Spot had to face. But no, these villains, while they were enjoyable characters, I did feel like they didn't quite belong in this movie. Also here and there, it's not really a big issue, but the humor did feel a little bit forced from time to time. It's really just far in between when that happens though. And I would say that the climax, even though it was really well done, I did feel like it was just a little bit rushed. And this was the climax before we hit to that big emotional moment I was telling you guys about earlier. Overall guys, The Good Dinosaur is a great movie. I adored this movie. I loved almost every single moment of this movie. It was just brilliant. It was creative. Voice talents were great. It had a beautiful message on conquering your fears. The animation is freaking mesmerizing. Just like with Inside Out, The Good Dinosaur is great. I think both Pixar movies this year in 2015, while they aren't some of Pixar's best films, I do think they are both great Pixar movies. So I'm going to give The Good Dinosaur three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think of The Good Dinosaur? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!